So the VR project itself has a player damage system built into it as an example of how you can use it. So if we start at the very beginning, uh, let's say we're taking damage, we've got this pad here. So when we overlap it, it takes minus 10 of our health. So if we open it up, you'll see that it actually fires just our apply damage. Uh, it gets our overlapped, so we get our player or the actor overlapping it, and we apply damage to that actor. And then we've got the cause, which is fine. So if we jump to our VR pawn, so VR pawn, and we go to the bottom of our event graph, you'll see we have a section here, event any damage. So our player takes damage through this, and we in our, inside of our game instance, we actually have a current health value and a max health value. So let's say you change your max health, it would update the length of the bar. And then we go through this where we finally call a event dispatcher. So at the bottom here, I might need to move this window. Let's dock that here so you can see. You'll see that we actually have an event dispatcher called update health. And that's this one here. So we get the max health and then we set our current health and then we fire the dispatcher. And what this does is it actually communicates to our VR hood. So our VR hood contains our health bar. And in here, we get our VR pawn and we listen to that update health notification. So if we update health, then we update our percentage here. And then we also set our percentage at the end. Pretty much standard update stuff. We're just using the game instance to get some variables and also get our player pawn as a reference to our bind. If you don't want the player health or you don't need it, let's say you're doing an ArcVis project and you just don't need a health bar, what you can do is you can actually go to the designer and you could even set the health bar to be hidden. So visible, you can set this to hidden so you can't see it. Or you can actually go in, delete it from here and then delete this event dispatcher, this set of code and this bit on the end. And that'll remove the health bar from the project. So you won't have to worry about it. And you could also go in and delete this section here if you wanted to, but really you can just keep all of this. It's not gonna hurt anything, but just update your VR hood so it doesn't get that data. Um, that's pretty much it. If you, if you did wanna cause more damage, it's a case of checking out this blueprint. And then we get our actor, so our player, and then we just cause damage to it. So that's pretty much how the damage is set up. And if we take a quick look in our game instance, do 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 VR game instance, you'll see here that our current health is also set to 82 to show that it's a little bit damaged. And then our max health is set to 100. Changing the max health will increase the length of the bar or how much health is in it. And then you can obviously change the current health to match that. So that's just something to keep in mind. And that's it for health. Bye.